right, we got a special treat for you guys today. This is an awesome one here. Um, I picked up this product. It's a Svan C, S V A N S E A, uh, 10 piece deluxe Santa suit. So, the reason why I got this is last year, um, <clears throat> my wife and I, we decided we wanted to set up a, um, a camera that would do motion detection and that way we could catch the kids whenever they come out first thing in the morning to see their Christmas gifts. So this year what we're thinking is try to dress up like Santa, catch it on the motion detection, show the kids the next day so that way they, <clears throat> so that way they you know, still believe. Um, it, it is a 10 piece velvet suit. It says it's deluxe. Um, it actually seems pretty Sweet. Uh, I do need to take care of though because I'm going to have to fold this back up. Um, you know, actually no because I'm going to put it on and take pictures and stuff too. Um, but I'm going to have to eventually fold it back up. Just a couple loose fabric threads. It always sticks to velvet. You, you'll see that on any velvet product that you buy. Um, but I'm going to have to hide this somewhere so that way the kids don't ever end up seeing it. Alright, so let's take a look. What do we have here? It's part of our 10 pieces. So here's uh, some of the boot covers. If you guys have ever gotten costumes before, um, this is typically what goes on over the shoes on, you know, like the anything less than $300 costumes. Uh, they don't actually give you shoes or boots or anything, uh, but this is a cover, so you are supposed to wear some black shoes or black boots underneath it and then stick this on. I may actually just go hardcore and uh, get a set of boots to wear for this, though, because, you know, it's kind of a one-time thing. Um, there's two of them. I generally don't like these things a whole lot, um, you know, because my shoes, you can definitely tell that there's shoes beneath them. So um, that's why I'm thinking to go ahead and get boots. And then, I don't know how I'll do this part, but um, you know, we'll figure something out. So here's the hat. It's a, I got the size extra large because I'm an extra large, and it looks like the hat is also quite large. Um, but whenever I put it on, it, it goes over my ears. Here's the the bag. Probably have to toss this in the dryer to tumble for a bit to get rid of some of the wrinkles. I'll have to read the instructions to see exactly how they want you to handle that. Um, I also have a, a steamer. Um, I don't know if you can iron that. Right, we got some white gloves. I don't know if Santa wears some white gloves. They're kind of small. For extra large, if I ordered an extra large, this is this is not going to fit me. Um, you know, I've, I've definitely got some room to go between each finger down to actually where my my fingers are. So if I spread them, I, I would rip this glove. Um, so just a heads up, the gloves might be a little tiny. It's not like you're wearing this for you know the entire day though, or at least I'm not. But if you guys are, <coughs> um, some Santa glasses. So that's kind of neat. There there is an actual glass lens in there, glass or, or plastic or probably carbonate or whatever, but some Santa style, so that's cool. Uh, here's the belt. On the back of my belt, I've got a little bit of uh, some kind of a rust type of thing. The front, it looks just fine. Um, the belt itself is pretty big, so I'm not too worried. I'm pretty sure that'll go around my waist. Let's see. Yeah, it's actually a little big, um, so I might have to stuff a pillow in there. I was kind of planning on doing that anyways, and that might be why this belt is so big. Um, if I were to just put it on, it wouldn't fit me. It's too big. Um, get to the wig and everything later. So here's the pants of the suit. Looks like they go all the way down. Um, so this probably goes over the top of over the top of the legs right there. So these might actually just be some comfortable pants to wear. And they are oversized as well so I'm definitely going to be able to have room to stick a pillow in there. All right, and the actual suit. This is a giant suit. It's a zipper suit but it appears as though there's also some kind of a button down here. Kind of 
tempted not to snap it just because it looks like there's some threads that go over the top of it and I don't want to mess that up at all, rip it or anything. Um, I'll have to do some closer examination later. Inside you've got, ooh, look at that, a place for you to put your, your hands and it'll stay tight on your wrist and keep it down so that way it doesn't fall up if you pick your hands up. It'll stay on there. Um, but that's a different, it's a different fabric on the inside. Let's find the zipper. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to undo the button somehow because that's right there. But it's odd, it doesn't appear like a normal button. Oh, no, okay, I see. So there's actually four threads around the outside and some little holes, and that's how they, they have the button in there. Okay. Uh, it had me worried there for a second when I was looking at it. Um, zipper seems to work okay. It's a plastic zipper. And inside you've got an extra layer. There's, there's something between you know the outside layer and the inside layer. Um, down here you've got a little bit of trim area. Take a look at this. So this is supposed to be a wig and right. Let me let me make sure a, a wig and a beard. I believe yeah, and it is a wig and a beard. Though I don't know that it's got to cover your whole head. Um, comes in this nice little. Ooh no, it's not any bag. That is the skull cap. And then here is the beard. So it looks like the beard. Goes on right here with this strap. Your mouth goes here, so you've got a mustache. You've got the, the curly beard, which is going to take a little bit of uncurling. I mean, it's been folded for packaging. Um, you've got your skull cap part right here. It's elastic, so that way you can put it on, and it does cover your entire head. Um, you know, it's farther on the back side, shorter on the front side, because that's going to be your forehead. Um, and it appears to fit just fine. I probably look glorious with these white locks. Anyway, that is the whole costume. So, um, initially, you know, th this is a, uh, I mean, this would be great for my purpose. Um, if you're wanting to wear this to, like, have kids sit on your lap all day and, and whatnot at the mall, this is probably not the costume for that, but you're also probably not buying a $100 costume for something like that. Um, but this is going to be great for, like I said, just recording a video and then letting the kids accidentally see us. Um, it'd probably be good too for like, you know, just family sitting at home, um, you know, wanting to have a, a visit, a visit from Santa that year. Um, you know, getting this and having somebody, you know, sneak out in the garage or whatever and dress up. Um, this would be perfect for stuff like that. So, um, that's awesome really glad with how this looks. So the only thing that I'm going to have to play with is probably going to be uh, the shoes. That's, that's about the only thing that I would really adjust at this point. Um, making sure that I've got some actual boots instead of, uh, instead of just those covers and I need to figure out how to get that little fluffy part over, the, over my actual boots too. I might, I might just trim that off right there because that folds over. Just trim that off and then you know, just use that part and just pull it up and find some way to secure it to the top of the boots. Um, the gloves, a little small, um, and of course you're going to have the, the wrinkles that we have to get out. Um, but, I mean, overall, this is a pretty complete costume. All you got to do is buy this and you can be Santa Claus. So, um, questions, comments, make sure to ask. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, see you next time.